Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashley here doing a review of Murals vs Sheffield United. The game happened on this, well it's Friday today, uh, so Tuesday, and it ended 3-0, which was an amazing, amazing win, considering about our not very good game at Millwall. So the game started off quite quickly with Borough pushing, weren't sitting back, just constantly attacking. They were trying the whole game. It got a bit sloppy as it came to the second half. Our second half, we started to sit back, but that's the kind of thing you expect when when you're winning three uh, 0 You want to keep the win. Don't get me wrong; it would have been good if we'd pushed and pushed. But that may have also made opportunities to let Sheffield, Chef, Sheffield, Sheffield United go in and take that like take the opportunity and counter attack, and we just didn't need that to happen. So instead of allowing that to happen, I think Tony Pulis said to the lads, I think he said, "We're winning three 0 you, You're playing superb. Just don't be too bothered now." about scoring goals you've you've scored three goals it's not very often chef and just sit back just defend our league that's all you can do from now on if you want don't get me wrong try and get more goals but just try and just make sure we continue and make sure we get the three in the lead and the lads did that perfectly i think my man of the match probably goes to Braithwaite. Braithwaite was unbelievable. I'm so glad he, he hasn't left. Don't get me wrong, he could still leave on the loan. But I don't think he will. He was an unbelievable player in that game. And the players... So the first goal was scored by Braithwaite. And I think it was Flint and Downing. Braithwaite's goal was a header. Loads of players scrambled around in the box and he saw that opportunity. So he lifted himself up. Boom. Header. Top corner. I think I think it may have been top corner or maybe that was the second one. But it was a good goal and all through the game he played unbelievably. And I think I'm happy he's back. But then something didn't feel right on that game because as you know that Adam is gone. It like, just didn't feel right, because usually we're used to seeing someone just going, there's the right wing, boom, down the side. But we didn't have that anymore as Adam has gone. But I think it's actually a good thing that Adam is gone, because now we can see talent in other players. Because while Adam was here, we knew his talent, so we were, we were trying to get him better. And I think Tony Pulis was focusing a lot on Adama because he went from mm, to top class player. That's why he's now playing with Wolves. Also, Ben Gibson is gone. He deser he deserves it. He's been here for like eight years. He's been at the club for eight years now. And I think you know, although and people were calling him a snake and stuff like that because he left after the Millwall lot, after we didn't win on Millwall. But that's not right because it's not his choice when he leaves. It's when the board finishes it. But about the game, uh, it was. Uh, I think there was quite a bit of hate before the game, and this transfer, this transfer market now finished. No more permit signings or any loans. I just don't think it was. I just don't think it was right. I think. Tony Pulis is giving them a list because they, they do this sometimes. Our managers give them a list and they don't sign them. Do you know what I mean? Like they put an offer in, they say no, and that's the end of it. I don't think they should do that. I think they should go. They should like try to actually get players because that's not what they were trying to do. I think they were just more bothered. Like we got about forty odd million from everyone we sold. Like Connor Ripley gone on loan. Ben Gibson and Adama, 35 million. Two players, 35 million. And we bought Hugo. It's just not good enough. 
we just needed more players and we just we just had to we just couldn't sit back and not actually get anyone because we just we just couldn't also there was quite a lot of hate because of this transfer market and if you were listening to BBC T's I don't know what his name was but this person came on after the game and he was like he doesn't want to spend money he just doesn't want to spend money he's not bothered he's not bothered no which manager doesn't want to spend money I don't why would he say that every manager wants to spend money because maybe um, Steve Gibson he might not have had the money this this season. Do you know what I mean? Because that, 40, that 40 million, we didn't get that straight away. We got that quite late in the transfer market. Last few days. And I just think, what's the point of saying it? No wonder no one wants to come here. Because would you want to come here to this club, one in promotion? That, I would want to go there. If I'm told, we want you, we're pushing for promotion and we think you can help us, I'd be happy for it. But then, when you look at all the social media and you see all the hate, it take, it just puts you off. What's the point like, of going to a club that you're just going to get hate from? Like, there's just no point. The second goal was from Aidan Flint. It's a power mind of that hate. I could go on for hours. Second goal was Aiden Flint. I think this was from a corner as well. And it was... It was really good. Uh, we're unstoppable at corners this season. So far what I've seen, we, we are getting the ball every time. We get the ball, we header it. Doesn't always go in. But that, that doesn't always happen though. And, uh, and I think it's great. I think Tony Pulis is the man to take us up. I still don't think it's going to be this season, though. Not after that transfer market. Unless we can bring in some players in January, then, yeah, we will. But this January transfer market is going to be crucial. Absolutely crucial. Because without it, our team, and I've just been saying about all this here, but Pulis has said this, our team at the moment, not going up. He said it on the radio. That's why he wants players. It's obvious he wants players. He's been saying it. And we've been connected with loads of players. Dorma was, uh, we may still see him on loan. I, th I think if we can still loan players. I don't think Balassi's coming, but if he does, it'll only be on loan. But I would love to see them players. Do you know what I mean? I'd like us to put some effort in to get these players. All the fans like these players. Yannick Balassi, Premier League player, fast as. Left winger. Downing's getting old now. Don't get me wrong. I like Downing. But he's getting old and he's not as fast. If we put Yannick Balassi, a dormer. Unstoppable wingers. Shot him. And Adama worked perfectly. Adama was always ready and always knew that Shelton was going to play in that ball. And he, he kind of played the same ball every time whenever he go, it went to Ad, Ad, Adama. And I think it's like Ensui and Adama, they, their link was perfect. They played together perfectly. Like, if Adama got the ball and two players ended up coming on him, you would see Ensui run past, one in the ball, and then he would he would pass it to them, and they knew that was going to happen because they practiced it, and we just need to do that again. And the third goal was Stewie Downing. I'm not sure how we scored this one. I'd have to watch the highlights. Uh, but I think this all these goals happened before half time. The second half was a bit boring, but not bothered. It's three now, three points. I can't really talk about this one much. Yeah, um, so yeah, I think we just played well that game. And I think we just need to roll on to tomorrow, Birmingham. And we need to absolutely batter them. We've proven we can do it. We've drew to all against Millwall 
even though they were losing, even though we were losing two 0 That's determination. Three 0 straight away. Determination. We can do it. We just need to go out there, and we can't let them sit back. We also, what we do a lot, we can't let the other teams build the confidence up. I see that lot happening in the borough games. We'll be winning one nil, and we'll sit back, and the team will slowly push. The other team will slowly push at us, and we'll think this is getting easier. So we'll try a bit harder. And they'll try a bit harder until the confidence is full. Then it's kind of useless. But yeah, that's what I have to say about this borough game. If you like, please like and subscribe. Uh, I will do a review on the game tomorrow. I won't see any of the goals or anything. I'll just try and do. I'll try and do as best as I can. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And peace.